Michael Valentino from Crusader Caravans in Melbourne, Victoria. Today, I'm gonna to have the pleasure of showing you our brand new stock Musketeer Warrior, complete with 2.7 ton independent fully off-road suspension, 16 inch wheels, an L-shaped lounge, separate shower toilet ensuite complete with washing machine and north-south bed. First, before we jump inside, we'll have a look on the outside. So featuring with all the Crusaders is an Intel engineering chassis. This one here has a bit of off-road spec. So we've got a DO35 coupling on the front. That's an auto rotative coupling, so that just moves all 360 just for those sort of articulate moving positions. It's a lock-in pin, goes through there, locks right in, and that just stays to the car, gives you that articulate moving, allows the caravan to independently move off the car. Got a ratchet handbrake as well, so you're never gonna have any issue as far as being able to pull up nice and hard. You've got the breakaway no battery system with the trailer brake system. So this here is wired directly to your caravan batteries. No maintenance, don't have to check on him. We've got these awesome little Crusader Intel chain hanging systems just at the front there. Massive plate, uh, Alco 400 kilo rated jockey wheel on that one as well. 90% of the product we're running with the hardware side of it are an Alco product with the Intel chassis. It is a three millimeter steel chassis, Australian made chassis and Australian sourced steel as well. Um, so as far as structural integrity, you cannot get any better. It is a 450 MPA grade of steel. So the molecular structure of the chassis is absolutely awesome. The flexibility in it is a little bit are depleted as a result of it, but that's what we want. We want to be able to make sure it's at a sturdy chassis. There's no flex through the walls, there's no flex through the floor. It is just solid as anything. And that is why, as far as an off-road unit is concerned, the Crusader Intel chassis and the Intel suspension, which is the Tough Ride 2.7 ton, uh, dual shock 12 inch brake 16 inch wheel suspension you cannot get any better so that's why we've opted for this on our little stocky just here capacity wise we've got two nine kilo gas bottles here on the front uh, with obviously a uh, cover plate we have two 95 litre water tanks with a 95 litre uh, sullage tank so uh, that's with no with that's a, with smell traps so you're not going to get any back through smell cleaning system and filtration system on it as well we have a uh, front toolbox on the front here Right in the front, we've got a uh, Weber Q story. So this actually comes out a little bit further. You can stand here having a bit of a cook. Um, plugs in on the external gas bayonet on the front there. Uh, Weber QZ fits right here, clocks down. And then when you're done, just lock him back in place. On the opposite side, when we get around to it, we've got a generator slide that suits about a 2.2, 2.4 kVA Honda, Yamaha, Briggs & Stratton generator. You've got a 900, nearly a meter wide storage uh, boot on the front here. Uh, now this van tears at 22.24, so it's just over the 2.2 ton mark, um, but it is complete with fully off-road options as well as two batteries at 105 AGMs mounted to the external body of the chassis, two 170 watt solar panels, so a heap of free camp opportunity, and a few other bits of goodies inside as well. Um, full storage all the way through, that's our jack, a DO35 coupling, a lot of hardware as far as awning pull-out rails and stuff like that, wind down jockey wheel clamps. We'll put this guy back, and these are suction tight boots, and they just lock away. We've got Alco drop down legs, um, these are stabilizer legs, Alco, European, very, very good and solid products, backed up by Alco's uh, national warranty as well. Outside cooking point just here, we've got a, uh, a 16 foot splashed granite Dometic awning with black awning arms just to give it a bit of flair. Um, this rolls back up to a gray uh, canvas, that way you don't have to worry about any cleaning or anything like that, it's really easy to wipe over. As far as entertainment here, we've got two outside uh, speakers. Uh, Bluetooth, of course. Um, you've got an external TV hatch. You grab your TV, hook them on the outside. So we've got our picnic table. So we're here, we've got our prep area. We're having a cook over here with our WebEQ. We've got our TV hutch here, all outside. Um, outside speakers going. Entertainment wise, you are fully covered. And for a 17 foot van, entertainment and storage is the two biggest things we have people asking about all the time. Before we jump inside, you'll notice on the outside here, we've got a 600 high check plate uh, throughout the van. That just gives it a bit more grunt, a little bit more flair to it. Complete with checker plate wheel spats, a 16 inch 245 primal wheel and tire, so it's an American tire. 2.7 ton independent dual shock 12 inch brake suspension. Uh, the chassis rail is running all the way back, right to the back of the wheels. The Intel engineering boys build at one hell of a chassis and the structure and subframe is the most important thing with anything off-road. Um, that is gonna give you the ability to be able to pull this thing through corrugation, dirt road, semi-off-road, Unidata, Flinders. Providing you follow our instructions, we can get you wherever you wanna go with this sort of van. Um, it is a tri-lock, crim-safe door uh, with lockout blind as well, with roller blinds. Um, 
This here is going to keep you safe, it's going to keep uh, bugs out, it's going to keep everything uh, nice and tidy with the unit and it just complements the finish of the van having that metal frame door, especially if you're going to travel with pets. We've got a bargain handle here on the front which just gives you a nice little blue light and then a bright light and it's a highlighted step light when that fires up as white. We have a dual uh, Tri-Tech Step Ranger uh, rated to 200 kilos so that just pops back in there when we're travelling. As we make our way around we've got our two arm bumper, primal spare wheel and tyre, we have our license plate, Safety Dave infrared night vision camera which monitor complete so we supply everything for you so you get that wired up with your auto electrician with this stock unit. Toilet wise we've got a ceramic 19 litre Dometic uh, toilet so these are the probably the best units I think you can get within the market of caravan so that's our little storage container it's got a little wheelie thing um, doesn't have off-road suspension but it does the job uh, we put him back in there click and we'll show you how to have a look at that inside we've got a 95 litre water filler cap so you just pop your hose in there fills each tank independent you can use with the Crusaders standard every uh, water tank independent of one another. You feel like drinking from the back tank and showering in the front, that is optional. You just flick pump switches. It is the easiest thing to do and we show you all that in the handover. 28 litre Swift stainless steel Australian appliance, um, gas and 240 volt, hot water fast recovery unit. So as far as the units on the market, you cannot get better than the Swift unit. The after sale service, the appliances and also just the hardware, knowing that it's Australian source and made, it is just the best. The fridge. The fridge is a 186 litre Dometic Smart Fridge. We'll have a look at that inside because it is a beautiful fridge. Most important thing with the fridges, we have a bottom vent, mainly for gas access, power, bit of troubleshooting. Gas flue, so have to have that, that's compliance of course. Now, most importantly, on the roof, we have a Dometic top roof vent. Hot air rises, that's no, uh, everyone knows hot air rises. With the fridge, we try and amplify its uh, workload. We wanna be able to make sure it works nice and easy. We give it an out, we put the fridge vent on the top. The hot air comes up through the body of the van and out through the roof. Costs a little bit more to do. Um, you need to be right on to your compliance and the way it operates, but the way this thing is gonna run, tropical fridges, compressor fridges, it doesn't matter. This is just going to churn. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. It's gonna complement the workings of the fridge, especially in those 45 degree weather and, and really humid climates. Again, we've got our mains pressure water filler just down here. We've got those two batteries on the outside of the chassis just here. Another 95 litre water filler cap that you can independently fill, of course. External TV. Uh, points. So if you go to a caravan park, you can plug their satellite dish that's you know, going to override the one on the roof and that will then boost your reception tremendously. We've got a clipsal outboard plug with uh, circuit breakers just here for the 240 and another access point on this side of the van. Just before we jump around to the front, we have on all the Crusaders, we use a high quality double glazed Dometic Mobicool European window. Blocks a heap of heat. At night, it's that tint, so it blocks it off nice and well. And Dometic obviously have that national warranty that backs up our service as well, which is just awesome to use. So we show you during the handover how to keep them clean, how to make sure everything works with them. On this side of the front, we've got our generator slide, uh, which is uh, for a suitor for a 2.2, 2.4, Briggs Stratton, uh, Honda, 2 kVA. That's gonna run that air conditioner easily within that caravan. We'll make our way through here. And just before we jump inside, we'll just have a look at the outside cladding. This here is one piece roofing system. This runs from the front right to the back where the other joint is as well. And what this is, is a fully insulated 32 mil fiberglass composite panel. Fully insulated. The floor is a uh, 42 mil fully insulated composite panel. No one else in the caravan industry is running something like this. It allows for um, much better temperature inside the caravan. Water ingress is no timber to ingress to, which is just fantastic as far as the roof and the floor. They're the two main areas people have concerns with. Insulation properties is insane. Your insurance company give you a benefit for having a composite material. The side cladding of the caravan is a three millimeter uh, plastic insulated panel that allows for uh, better temperature ratings. It also is easier to clean, easy to maintain. Um, it allows for that expansion and contraction within the caravans, especially, you know, Mount Newman, 50 degree heat, or Tasmania, negative four. It allows for that expansion contraction. And with the Crusaders, the insulation properties on them between all the wall studs is just great. So as far as build quality wise, best of the best Aussie vans, winner of manufacturer of the year 2019, 2020, the Crusader range, you cannot get better build quality, latest technology, and that's something that we really promote. Something that, especially if you're going to be spending money, you want to be buying the latest and greatest. And with the Crusader range, especially this Musketeer Warrior, you cannot get any later or greater with that tech. So we'll jump inside. 
we'll make our way up here. So we'll grab on our little lift handle assist. Now, just before we get inside here, first thing straight off the bat, we've got a full height cupboard. So we'll open these up. We'll give you a bit of an idea. We've got half a hands length. So it is, it is a huge storage area. Um, as far as tomato sauces, you've got your salts, your peppers, your wines as a wine cabinet. There is a heap of storage. The, the compliments and sales on this sort of stuff, people just, you don't get this in a 17 foot van. So Crusader have done a beautiful job with that. To the, uh, to the left here, we've got our PM200 battery management system. So we've got water pump, night mode, we've got load on and off. That is actually gonna turn the van on and off. And you've got some wireless lighting. So this here is now operating all those lights uh, wirelessly throughout the caravan. So really handy. It's got a little remote that comes with the unit um, and that just keeps everything Really easy to use, you're outside, you want to turn the ensuite light on, you're in bed, you want to be able to turn the ensuite light on, press of a remote, fire it up, nice and easy. So the fridge just here is a 186 litre Dometic Smart Fridge. Um, this is a wire shell fridge. You've got crisper draw, you've got temperature control, it's automatic, so it's gonna jump between gas 240, 12 volt, very, very easily. Again, handover tutorials on these as well. We've got our sink, which has a strainer area here. Not that common within the caravan industry. A lot of people just do the sink. Looks a bit gimmicky, but at least this way you have somebody out to dry everything. Our Dometic windows, we've got full blockouts and midgy proof screens, which is really important. Again, costs a bit more, but it's worth the money. You've got Finch Range Hood with recessed cooktop, so more prep area, especially in a 17 foot van. Something you need to consider as far as storage. You've got the Moby Cool lift assist uh, top cooktop area with three burners and a 240 burner, grill and oven. Check out the storage. You've got metal side drawer, uh, drawer runners with cutlery inserts, all of these. We don't crib any corners. We don't run plumbing halfway through the van system. This is a heap of storage. The overhead cupboards, again, full piano hinging, reinforced gas struts, tri-lock uh, security door with that. So it is just awesome. You cannot get any better as far as storage, as far as build. It is just something that Crusader have inherently done through their whole range. Um, this cupboard here, we've got our Bluetooth radio, external speaker switches to isolate those speakers, our PM200 battery management system with Fuse Legend as well, gas hot water and gas two, uh, sorry, 240 uh, electric hot water as well switch over there. You've got an Ibis 3, which is a true reverse cycle air conditioner. It has a soft start function, so that generator, as soon as it starts up, it's not just gonna blow its guts out first time, it's going to rev slightly up and then run that unit very easily. It's an L-shaped lounge that comes wrap around here, and you've got a Nuva mapper table. Again, these are awesome. So you click the little handle just under here. It goes right, it goes out, it goes in, it goes left. And then if a little human or another, another child comes along, you can just pop him down. That locks down into a bed. Pop the cushion, which is underneath the, uh, underneath the bed. And then when you're done, you just pop him back up. No more pull the table out, do this, do that. It's nice and easy, just runs. All the reading lights inside the caravan have a USB charging system, as well as power points either side of the bed and USBs either side of the bed, complemented with the reading lights that have the inbuilt USBs. We know it gets hot, so Crusader put the Sirocco fans within the Musketeer range, so you've got three speeds on these. You've also got timers, three, six, nine, and 12, so in 12 hours that'll turn off automatically, and the large Dometic double glaze windows that block the heat. You've got a dust pressure hatch as well up the top here. So when you're driving into some of those um, uh, dusty road, you're going to pop that up, it's going to suck the positive pressure in and pressurize the whole cabin as you're traveling to keep all that dust out. we got under bed storage here, heaps of storage, heaps of robe space as well, um, heaps of overhead cupboards. The overhead cupboard depth most people just cannot get over, it is almost an arm's length worth of storage all the way. So because of that wrap around fully insulated composite roof, we wrap the whole thing and we give you that full depth, we don't block anything off. Again, robes. And we've got our full pull-out drawers here as well, which is just, honestly, as far as coming from a, a smaller van or bigger van, it's just awesome to be able to have that better storage within the Crusader range. You don't need a 23-foot van to be able to get everything you want. Before we finish up, we have our 3.2 kilo NCE top low washing machine in the ensuite. We have a ceramic uh, basin. We have a ceramic toilet, the Dometic 19 liter CDS 4110. We have our roller door just here. We have our uh, shower with uh, tri-lock, so we've got magnetic strip, standard lock, especially if you go off-road, um, and then we have a magnetic top as well. Extraction and in input fan, so it sucks the hot air out, can put uh, cold air into the van, especially on a hotter night. Um, so they the, the work absolute treat in and out, sucks in with LED lighting. And again, we don't trim any corners. You've got still all those three storage points uh, undercover, and you've got 
your overhead cupboard up here as well um, with touch lights underneath the overhead cupboard. Guys, this has been a stock demonstration in our brand new Musketeer Warrior 2.7 ton off-road unit. Um, it's currently in stock. Please book an appointment. Give us a call at 9359 2938. Visit our website at www.crusadercaravansmelbourne.com.au. Send us an email at sales at crusadermelbourne.com or alternatively, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you soon. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.